alluded to working at EY and that it um, sparked some items that are coming into play right now. Mm -hmm. So you were at EY, you're no longer at EY. Um, how about you tell us where you are today briefly and then yeah. take us back to the decision that took you from EY to starting the path that you're on now. Yeah, so where I am right now is I am a fourth year obstetrics and gynecology resident. <laughs> yeah. And you're in Saskatchewan, right? In Saskatchewan, yeah, in Saskatoon. Um, and so going backwards, um, the idea of being a physician was always kind of in the back of my mind. Um, and even just a little bit further back. So in my undergrad, like my electives that I took in undergrad were like biochem, chemistry, <laughs> not your, not your average accounting yep. complementary classes. Um, but I wasn't really a hundred percent sure if I really wanted to do it. Um, and so then when I got to EY, um, and saw that there was those other areas, like I mentioned, I tried to kind of get into those areas, um, from like a business perspective. Um, and then really where the wheels started turning was actually my first year of MPAC, um, kind of coming together with other people from across Canada, um, to do our MPAC first year, um, when we had other classes that weren't accounting based, based actually like I'd say like 85% of the class had other plans of what they wanted to do. Like they weren't mm. going to stay in accounting and that's kind of where people started really talking about it. And that's where I think I started to feel comfortable talking about maybe wanting to be a physician. Um, so that's kind of end of first MPAC year. Yeah, um, and then, there. Sorry, if you don't yeah, mind. Yeah. You mentioned something where people started talking about it. Cause I think this is something that I really want to point out. Um, so for myself, people ask me, do you love accounting? And I was like, no, like, I'm sorry. Like, do I get excited in the morning and like want to debit and credit things? Like, no, right. but I, I like what, what it can lead to and what it can empower. But even having that discussion as a prof, people are like a little bit surprised. Yeah. So, you know, just to say, hey, listen, um, a lot of people, it's not uncommon to be in accounting, to be in business and not want that to be your end game. And yeah. it's also common for it to not be part of your middle or beginning or, you know, end game. And it's okay to take any path in between. And I think exactly. the key is, like you said, is to start, start talking about it and, yeah. and being open or at least find your people where you can have that conversation. Yeah. And I think that's, that was key is like, it was a safe environment to talk about it. And, um, yeah, like I think I can't even remember what the classes were, but we had to do different projects that weren't just accounting based. And I think that's really where the discussion came from. Like I know people that said that they actually wanted to own a hair salon and like it was just everything. Yeah. And then that's where it's like, I think I actually might want to be a doctor. And it wasn't like a weird, like, oh, it was like, oh yeah, sure. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Fabulous. Hmm. Okay. So you start, and just to clarify, when you were doing your undergrad at U of S, um, were you in business from the beginning, taking yeah. biochem electives? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. from the beginning. Yeah. All right. So um, you start talking about that maybe accounting is not, not the thing thing and that, you know, hey, I'm thinking about being a doctor, having those like positive like nods. And then yeah. you leave first year MPAC and you come back to Calgary uh, at EY. Yeah. So then kind of refreshed, you know, ready to hit the ground running again and then that's when I started to uh, diversify a little bit like I wasn't just in the oil and gas um, group um, and so you know enjoying kind of seeing different different businesses working in different industries I think I had a really cool engineering client that um, I really liked and then um, and then it was second term MPAC and that's you know getting closer to the UV at that point so and summer of 2010. Yeah, summer of 2010. Um, so now things are kind of getting real and I have to start thinking about, um, am I going to write is the question. Because like most people who are in accounting, like super type A, um, have a hard time. Well, I had a hard time quitting. Was, was oh. it where it was at. And yeah. with MPAC, like it, it's a great program but your articling time gets extended because you're away in the summer. 
So um, my question was, do I continue or do I stop now? And the way that the curriculum was then is like, I believe like our CASB people and MPAC people in Saskatoon anyways, came yeah. together, like, I think mid to end July, where we started working on yes. mod six. I yeah, know. yeah, you got it. <laughs> yeah, mod six are like, it'd be capstone two equivalent now, but yeah, mod yeah. six, you got it. Um, and then we wrote kind of those mock. So when I remember from there was like a pretend U fee. Mm -hmm. And then if you pass that, you were able to go on. Yeah. But in between that time, I think we had two, two weeks or something. Yeah. And so I actually came out to Nova Scotia, um, oh. for, oh, yeah, it was random. They had a really great seat sale and we had some points and, went out there and I think back then like no one had Facebook or Instagram on their phone and I really just disconnected from everything and halfway through the trip I was like I'm not going back I'm not I'm not writing the UFI. I love it so uh we flew home on Saturday I registered for classes on Sunday went in to my for, accounting firm pre-med pre-med pre classes yeah. went in to my accounting firm on Wednesday to tell them that I was quitting and um yeah and then started my first year of uh Fizz Farm after the September long weekend holy camoli yeah all right bring me through your your mindset so you're you're taking those two weeks you're disconnected yeah. and you're just like like what point were you like were you like this? And then what were you thinking? I was thinking that uh, I really didn't like it at all. And I didn't see that I could make something out of it. And I felt like I was, there was too much time that was going to have to happen where I had to follow like the textbook, you know, articling in the accounting firm before I was going to be able to actually maybe do what I wanted to do. Hmm. Um, and like, truthfully, I think it just came back like, I think I was just trying to fit a square into a circle yeah. shape, which you can, it just isn't going to look great and it might not feel great. Um, and so I think I was just far enough away from all of the other voices and maybe like other people, like I'm a, I'm the eldest child and both my parents actually work in healthcare and they thought that it would be better for me to not go into healthcare. And so I was trying to kind of appease that as well, but realizing that it wasn't really my choice and that I didn't want to do it anymore. 